Hey, uh, this is Jonathan Shell from the Chinese Medicine Database. Uh, I want, recently heard about a person who chronicled his life by taking a minute of video each day, and I thought that this would be a great idea for the database. I'm constantly working on a variety of projects and taking a minute every several days to talk about something I've translated. It seems like a very doable thing. Today, I want to talk about a formula from our upcoming Japanese translation of the Yoko Sagan by Hanako Seishu. Seishu was the first physician to do lumpectomy on the breasts of women who had cancer. Uh, Seishu didn't write any of his own books, so that the works that survived him were all transcripts of his students. Because the surviving works are transcriptions, the students who were taking notes often in a lecture format did not always document the ingredients in each formula. Therefore, we have been having to do textual excavation. By comparing various versions of the various form formulae in a number of different Japanese and Chinese books. This formula is called Da Huang Gao and was used by Seishu for tinea of the scrotum, what we might call jockage today. It is originally from the Shengji Zong Lu, the collected rec records of sagely aid. In this text, there are three references to Da Huang Gao. The first treats red, swollen, and painful eyes. This is what the, the uh, Shengji Zonglu says, not what Seishu says. Seishu uses it for a different purpose, purpose but the uh, uh, Shengji Zonglu uses it to treat red, swollen, and painful eyes. So the ingredients are Da Huang, uh, three Liang, that's about nine grams. Xuan Shen, Tu Liang, or 6 grams. Meng Shao, uh, Tu Liang, or 6 grams. Hong Chin, uh, Tu Liang, or 6 grams. Bai Lian, Tu Liang, or 6 grams. Mu Xiang, Tu Liang, or 6 grams. And Shagan, Tu Liang, or 6 grams. And the instructions are, for the seven ingredients above, pound into a powder and collect. Use egg white to mix the powder into a paste and apply this around the eye and eyelid. Change this when it has dried and pay no attention to the number of times one has to apply this. The second uh, Da Hong Gao formula is also from the same book and it says it's the formula consists of Da Hong, um, a half Liang, so that's uh, uh, about 1.5 grams. Uh, Dai Da Mai Mian, which uh, you'd have to look up. Uh, three Chin, which is uh, um, uh, two, about two grams, two plus grams. And uh, Jitsa, which is just uh, um, egg yolk. And it says that this also treats sudden redness of the eyes. Um, and the instructions are for the three ingredients above, mix into a paste and apply around the eyelids. The third recipe in the same book consists of Da Huang, um, three fen, uh, so three parts, um, pounded into a powder. Um, jai Dutsa, and Jai Dutsa is, uh, um, is a very uncommon, it's not an uncommon herb, but I'd never heard of it before, so I had to actually look it up to see what it, to, to see what it was, and it's a Stephania epigea, Stephania epigea is Jaijutsa, so for those that were not in the know like me. Um, and then Mushang, so three fen, so three fen of Jaijutsa, three fen of Da Huang, and three fen of Mushang, so that's just three parts, three parts, three parts. Uh, so the they say that this same book said it treats sudden redness of the eyes with pain and feverish sensation of the head. And the instructions are for the three ingredients above, pound into a powder and collect this and mix with fermented millet water to make a paste. Apply the paste on top of new, thick, newly new and thick but woven silk and spread it evenly over the silk then apply this over the eyelids and frankly frequently change this. So there's three different versions of um, Da Huang Gao from the same book uh, for you to think about. Cheers.